Burbag about Glee and how I problematic cl- it was, kind of tangentially related. Close your eyes. And I want mustache. you to go back to June of 2020. We're all depressed. My girlfriend says we've watched through Succession twice. We've watched through I Think You Should Leave Again. We've watched through all of BoJack Horseman. Do you want to watch Glee? It's insane. And knowing me from my videos, I said, of course. I never got to watch Glee, but the more and more I see about it now, since it's come out, it seems like the craziest show on television. And there's nothing I love more than bad TV that's also insane. It's my bread and butter. You could call it my Ed and butter. Cause that's, that's not good at all. Oh my God, cut that. Oh my God. And over the course of that month, we watched through about a season and a half of Glee. And I kept thinking, oh man, I really want to make a video about this show now. It's insane. And certainly I'm not. Bro, this is the whitest show I've ever, I've ever had my eyes on. Okay. My eyes have never seen a whiter show. I feel like it's like. I'm going to get a tan from watching this fucking show. Jesus Christ. Just like three, three seconds, three snippets, and it's like, it's over. Not the first person to make a video about it, but I didn't watch anyone else's video on it. So now I get to talk. <laughs> so things have been weird for me lately, and I thought, you know what's good for my mental health? I should watch Glee again. <laughs> and I was going to make a video on the first 10 episodes of season one. But when I started the pilot... I realized that the pilot is so insane, it would fill up an entire video. So today, we're gonna go through the pilot of Glee, cause I have to talk about how insane this show is. I cannot believe it was on TV. And I-, I told some friends I didn't like Glee and got called a homophobe. Why, are they gay? I mean, it's, a, it's like a musical show, right? So, I mean, it's, it's already gay. I cannot believe it didn't get canceled right when somebody saw the pilot. It's insane to me. So first I want to say that Glee doesn't start off bad in any way, shape, or form. There's clearly some care put into the show. It's just the way the characters are written that I mostly have a problem with. First, we're introduced to the cheerleading team and Sue Sylvester, pretty much just showing that uh, she's a ruthless coach. And then we're introduced to arguably the main character of Glee, Will Schuster. We see by Will's car that he is strapped for cash and also uh, lives in Ohio. Two things that uh, most people try not to be. And immediately, <laughs> he spots a member of the Glee Club, Kurt, who's also a student of his, he calls <laughs> him out by name, about to be bullied by a group of jocks. And he's completely oblivious to it. So this is not an adult that you would want to trust in school. Now, I can't use the audio from these scenes because they're using Earth, Wind, and Fire's Shining Star to do a montage in the intro, which I actually like. It's really fun. It gives a cool energy to introducing everybody. Some key bits of information. What's worse, being from Ohio or New Jersey? Bro, come on. That's not even a question. Ohio literally takes the cake on that. It's like, what do you mean? There, there is like very little redeeming qualities. At least New Jersey has like Italians who are fun and funny. You know what I mean? New Jersey has the Sopranos. Ohio has nothing. Nation are Will stops and stares at a Glee Club national. New Jersey, by proximity, at least has like uh, you know New York in its in its crosshairs. Uh, Ohio has what fucking Pennsylvania? That's awful. National championship and clearly a teacher that ran the Glee Club that he admired. He's not currently the head of the Glee Club. He's a Spanish teacher and Finn is one of his students. Finn being a main character who- And for those of you who say Ohio has LeBron, Ohio has like Guy Fieri, Ohio has Steph Curry, every single motherfucker that you mentioned left Ohio though, okay? Came back but still left and don't live there no more. You want to know why? Because it's Ohio. Do you see what I'm saying? is the quarterback at the school. And then something else happens during the montage. The willow tree. Uh... That guy is always giving me bad vibes. That dude. I've seen him in movies and shit. So one of the first things we see happen in Glee during this montage is the old Glee club head, or the current in that scene, inappropriately touch a student. That is two minutes into the Fun Fox Glee club show, and it is not really played for anything other than laughs and plot. Which right away is like, that's 2009, not 1962. That's weird as hell. So at the school currently, uh, a lot of the teachers are complaining that there's only 
any funding for the Cheerios, which is the cheer team. They seem to be national champions. Sue Sylvester seems like a real celebrity coach, and all of the school funding is going to that because it brings in money to the school. Then Will learns that a colleague of his, the head of the Glee Club, gets fired, and this is his first reaction. Who's gonna take over Glee Club? I'd like to take over Glee Club. You wanna captain the Titanic too? Now I would be lying if I didn't say <laughs> Yeah, that's a that's a task you cannot accomplish, sir. You wanna take over the Titanic? You wanna captain the Titanic? It's a, it's falling apart, my friend. Don't do it. That there is some funny writing in Glee. A lot of the back and forth with the principal in most of the first season is really funny. There is no joy in these kids. They feel invisible. That's why every one of them has a MySpace page. But there are also some things that don't age well at all. What is it with you and this club? You've got only five kids. One of them's a cripple. Then I guess you've got nothing to worry about. Oh, what the fuck? Whoa, no! Yo, that's pretty funny. I mean, look, it, it's just like they have a disability representation. So obviously one of that is going to be fucking one of that is going to straight up be uh, someone who is ableist. You know what I mean? You have to show that. Then we are introduced to Rachel. Rachel seems like a parody of a cutthroat theater kid, except we're supposed to also feel for her. So she's not just a parody character made for laughs. She's just an awful person. And speaking of awful, she's the one that tells on the teacher touching the student, not out of the sake of justice, but because she wants the solo that student has. She told and exposed this thing that that kid might have not been comfortable with everyone knowing about just so she could get a solo in a musical. So that's what's, that's, um. I don't think that's that bad. I, I like that. That's like, that's infinitely more complicated as a plot point than you would expect from like a fucking Fox uh, TV show. Bro, what are you saying? Wait, no, what do you mean? That's like, it's supposed to show a complex character who is like a bad person. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, she's doing a bad thing. That's what bad characters do. What do you mean? A teacher having sex with a student is good? No, of course not. But like, problematic shit happens in real life. And of course, there's going to be uh, a, a, a little bit of baked in realism uh, into that. So that's I don't know. what Rachel's I don't... like. I am not homophobic. In fact, I have two gay dads. Also, my last video got completely demonetized because there was a TV show clip in it. I'm not going to let that stop me from using clips of Glee in this. I feel like it's really important to make the video much better than it could be without it. So I just want to say uh, this one probably will get demonetized. If you do want to support me, I did just launch my winter merch stuff. It's yikeshop.com. The link's in the description. Okay, back to it. So you'll see this uh, later in the pilot, but also later later in the show, Will's wife is an awful person, but we're not told that yet, so we shouldn't assume it in any way. So Will Schuster and his wife are trying to have a baby, and while he's trying to start this huge part of his life, he becomes obsessed with heading the Glee Club. Well, I just wanted to tell you that I'm gonna have to start working late for the next couple months. I'm uh, monitoring after school detention. For some reason. He told the principal it's because the kids are depressed, but he doesn't really know the kids that well. The little bit of backstory is that Will was in the Glee Club in the 90s, and they won nationals. So he's chasing that feeling that he missed before. He doesn't really care about the students or helping them in any way. And he's prioritizing this over trying to start a new chapter of his life with his wife, and he lies to her about it. William? Sandy? So Will runs into the old... Wait, why does the pedophile teacher get to not go to jail? That's kind of weird. The Glee Club head, and he's not disgraced after being fired for inappropriately touching a student at school? Are you kidding? Getting out of that swirling eddy of despair, best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. It wasn't easy at first. Being dismissed, and for what I was accused of, my long-distance girlfriend in Cleveland nearly broke up with me. He's just kind of played for laughs that he's 
you know, a weed dealer now. So what the fuck is that all about? <laughs> so Will wants to head the Glee Club, but the principal says there's only $60 a month in the budget because all the money is going to the cheerleading team. What does Will need $60 for even? To have a bunch of people sing in a room? I don't know, but he needs it. Hiding the $60 a month from my wife, Terry, was gonna be hard but I had a bigger problem. Now, first, I wanna say that we all deserve financial compensation from Fox for making us see Matthew Morrison without a shirt on. I will not be explaining myself. I think we all understand what I mean. But dude, yeah, it's gonna be hard lying to your wife. You're trying for a baby right now, and you're trying to siphon off money that you don't have for a new thing that you- Is this Euphoria Millennial Edition? Kind of, I guess, but like, Euphoria has like way more drugs. I think, right? I don't know. I didn't watch Glee and I did not watch uh, Euphoria. That would be Skins. Oh, okay. You asked for, just a reminder again, his wife is a terrible person, but he doesn't know that yet. And he thinks they're trying to start a family and he's off trying to fuel his own ego and waste his own money for his own family. Hey, Sue, can I have a sec? Sure, buddy. Also, I want to take a second to say that Jane Lynch, in the rest of the show, too, is so good as Sue Sylvester. Her lines are usually the funniest in the show because she's kind of making fun of the whole idea of Glee Club and how cheesy the show is. But at times, she's also horrible, like every character in the show. Every character, at some point, not all in the pilot, but at some point does something truly, truly awful. And we're supposed to just, like, skate past that. Either way, Jane Lynch fucking killed it. So you want to talk to my Cheerios about joining Glee Club? Well, I need more kids, performers, and all the best ones are in the Cheerios. So then the show presents us with Will's kind of problem. He wants to head the Glee Club and start it up again after this kind of horrible tragedy. And nobody wants to do it. So he's definitely not doing- It's kind of weird. <laughs> That's a weird mission to launch yourself on. You know what I mean? Oh man, I really want to, I really want to restart the Glee Club after the previous- after the previous teacher was doing pedophilia on the main, you know what I mean? That's, that's, that's a bit weird off the jump. Like, why do you care so much, bro? Chill, fucking let it die, you know? Doing it for the kids because they don't want to do it. He wants to do Glee Club for his own selfish reasons and anything he says to anyone else otherwise is a lie. I honestly thought that was the end of the very brief fever dream that was New Directions. And now we get to a no. Don't tell me he goes into the locker room to to creep on one of the students. A very common and reoccurring aspect of Glee: adults and the kids in the show being really creepy and not respecting the boundary of like minors versus adults. Will hears Finn singing in the shower, and he bro, don't don't do that. No, 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 no. That's that is so no. That makes me see the, the pedophile teacher not get arrested in an entirely different light now, okay? That's so weird, bro. Just wait till they're out of the fucking shower, dog. What the fuck? You go, hey, well, that's a, that's a student. And hey, I'm a teacher. That student is underage, which is precisely why I should just see myself out of this locker room. He decides to not only walk up to him in the shower, but one... that. The shot of Finn, like his legs flipping around, seems very much to like put the idea in your head that there's like. Bro, what the fuck? I mean, to be. Okay, okay, to be fair. To be fair, Ohio. Jim Jordan is from Ohio. Jim Jordan was the athletic director. Go Buckeyes. To be fair, Sandusky, not from Ohio, but from Pennsylvania, close enough. Pennsylvania, especially Western Pennsylvania, is basically Ohio. Also close enough. Les Wexner, also from Ohio. Les Wexner basically single-handedly campaigned, Je I mean, uh, single-handedly was the wallet for Jeffrey Epstein. There's also a city in Ohio named Sandusky. I'm just saying this is not a conspiracy at that point. You're, you just got to... You gotta think about it like that. It's like a flop. 
Uh, you, you know what I mean? Like, why would they, why would they show that? Other than he's like exposing himself. Uh, and then his teacher, his Spanish teacher, just keeps walking up and listening to him. And there's no moment where it's played for laughs where he says like, hey, you're really good. And Finn gets scared. He watches him in the shower and then the neck, it, the scene ends. So, oh my God, uh, seems to be a recurring theme with the Glee teacher heads uh, with certain behavior. And then the next scene, Finn is a jock and he's like an 80s jock in this. So he doesn't want to sing. It's a high school musical. He likes to sing, but doesn't want to do it because sports, you know, <laughs> the age old question of should I sing even though I'm good at it, but I played the sports? What do I do? What do my dad say? That's not a problem for Finn, because his dad is dead. <laughs> his dad is dead in the show. His dad is his dad is very much dead. So there's no high school musical dad. Good to classic. Go like Finn, what are you doing? You invested your life in this because you know classic. He's literally dead dad. Ash in an urn. <laughs> Anyways, Will Schuster a wants trope. to start Glee Club so bad he decides to get the weed that the gym teacher was buying from the old disgraced creepy Glee Club teacher and blackmail Finn into joining the Glee Club. It's not mine. I'll pee in a cup. I, I'll pee. Look, it, it wouldn't make any difference. Possession is eight-tenths of the law. I'm pretty sure that much pot is a felony. We're supposed to- That's awesome. He's blackmailing a child? Oh my God, that's so fire. Dude, I love this show. What the fuck? This is unhinged. <laughs> Why the fuck is this? Why is this on Fox? Why is this on Fox? What, what the fuck is happening here, dude? I love this. This is great. It's completely unhinged, this show. To be cool with that? He's like a 16-year-old kid who wasn't smoking weed. And then his Spanish teacher is like, damn, I want to get Glee Club going so bad. I'm going to have to blackmail this kid whose dad died. I'm sorry. Uh What? Huh? What? He did what? So in the middle of being blackmailed, Finn has what I like to call a reverse that's so Raven moment, otherwise known as a memory. And the memory is of this guy who used to date his mom when he was younger, who what? loved to sing while he did yard work. And he let Finn sing too. So Finn kind of fell in love with singing and the guy encouraged him to do it until he cheated on Finn's mom. And Finn's just like, yeah, that sucked for my mom, but he's really cool. And I always thought he was the best. So Finn and Rachel are singing as the leads and Mercedes who was the original singer in the club before this and is probably the best vocalist out of all of them says that she's unhappy for being a backup singer and will she yeah because she's the only black person on the show it seems like please tell me they don't they literally don't cut her out as the only black person on the show Oh no. Schuster is like, hey, this is a one time thing. We're not going to do that to you. Okay, look, Mercedes, it's just one song. And it's the first time we've been kind of good. Okay. And as someone who watched the show uh, further, they absolutely do that to her for the rest of the show. Like, she gets her moments occasionally, but they definitely, she was right. So after a hard day's work of blackmailing a child, Will and Terry are doing a puzzle together. As they discuss their financial troubles, Terry wants Will to become an accountant because they are broke, but Will reveals that they're broke because she has a pottery barn shopping addiction? Come on, we cannot afford this stuff, Terry. But we could, Will. That's definitely an ad. Please read the next paragraph in the article you still have open. There was a school shooting episode on this? Stop. There's no fucking shot. There's a... What? So they both can afford to raise a child if they wanted to, but Will can't give the time and also is, you know, working on a teacher's salary, which, you know, should be more. And his wife Lee did a school shooting episode and the shooter was a Down syndrome girl. Oh my God, I'm losing my mind. Are you fucking serious? What did they, what, what, did they think that that was like, you know, disability activism or something? And like, they were like, hey, women can be shooters too. 
and even those with the uh, down syndrome like is that what they were thinking i'm legitimately asking like they were like equal opportunity school shooting The episode is literally called Shooting Star. Yo, this is... I, it seems like this show is incredible, but not for the reasons why people liked it. You know what I mean? Like, it seems like this show is awesome for the exact opposite reasons that it intended to be good for. Why there's a lot of wait, I'm hearing from the chat that there is a robust bibliography of American television that features school shootings. Buffy had a school shooting episode where she could hear the maybe autistic shooters' thoughts. Uh what? Degrassi had a school shooting, but Degrassi's technically Canadian, right? They have the episode in Let's parts on YouTube. Shut the fuck up. There's a Glee school shooting episode and it's available on YouTube. I mean, this is Kino. Okay. This is, ooh. That's, that's pretty wild. Okay. Not as wild as forgetting the top of the hour ad break. Wow.